Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Ariful Furkon, alongside with Mr. Gun Faisal and Mrs. Nina Fadila Najwa from Indonesia. I would like to present our research paper about graph database modeling on Malay architecture IFC data for ICCAUA 2021. In this paper, we mainly discuss about the Malay Indonesian architecture. Indonesia is a country in the Southeast Asia, which is a fourth most populous country in the world. And one of the population is Malay Indonesians. They are uh, ethnic, Mal an ethnic Malays living throughout Indonesia. They are considered one of the indigenous people of the country and the Malay Indonesian society mainly live in Sumatra Island. This is Indonesian map and Sumatra Island is this part. This part. And a small part of Borneo or Kalimantan Island like that. And its society has a unique Malay architecture. And one of them, one of the, uh, the example is Datuk Jolan Su Malay Trap Pagodangan Host and Rokan Forkoto Malay Host. This is the example of Malay architecture. There are uh, many others uh, Malay architecture, but the example is Datuk Jolan Su and Rokan Forkoto Malay Host. Like that. And based our previous study, the decreasing of Malay host existence which part of Malay architecture indicates that the artifacts of Malay culture were diminishing. The advancement of technology and new materials resulted in the erasure of Malay architecture as part of the culture. The effort to preserve Malay architecture was carried out by documenting which in general can be used as learning material for the next generation. And this effort will be better if it is supported by a good information technology. Talk about a good information technology, the example is Grab Database. So what is Grab Database? Grab Database is a latest, te latest database technology which uh, used by most uh, company in the world like Facebook, WhatsApp, and many others. And a graph database itself is closely related to data interconnections and which has many data relations. So there are a relationship between a data to another data like that. And it's very useful for representing and describing the relationship between building components and the data in the building information modeling or BIM. The graph database schema can be useful for building semantic information for extracting, analyzing, and displaying topological relationships in the form of 3D objects and process the queries very quickly. This is a benefit of graph database modeling. And therefore, we uh, conduct a research paper uh, the purpose is model to model graph database on Malay architecture IFC data. The modeling process was conducted by extracting IFC data to create a graph model using Neo4j. And the expected result of this research is a graph database modeling, which will be developed further by defining the queries to solve various problems of Malay architectural models. And this is our methods to conduct our research. First, we uh, design a host model from BIM and generate the EFC data from BIM. And next is uh, parse the EFC data into GSON format. And next is IFC metadata modeling. And the last is IFC graph modeling. This is our method uh, for conducting our research. And this is the design of Malay Rokan for Koto Host, 
we use a uh, Google SketchUp Pro 2015 to design a Malay Rokan for Koto House. This is the original photograph of uh, Rokan for Koto Malay House. And this is uh, our design of Rokan for Koto House. This is uh, the view from front side and this is the view from uh, side and rear view like that. And based on uh, host modeling, then we export the data into the IFC data format. And IFC itself is a file format that has been standardized with ISO 103021 as a digital description of a built and environment, including buildings and civil infrastructure. And this is the uh, the content of the IFC file, which is uh, has a script in that file. So there are some information about our uh, design model based on the Google SketchUp like that. So this is the IFC data codes or script like that. And after we get the IFC data, we parse it into JSON format. And after we parse it, then we uh, model it into a graph database. First, we model the metadata and then model the graph uh, database or graph model itself. And this is the result of the graph model. So there are three uh, fundamental entities in the graph database. First is the objects or a node. This is the object or a node, Rokan for Koto IFC. And this is the properties. And last is uh this is the relations and last is the properties like that so this is our graph model of rokan for koto efc ifc ifc is a standard file format that defines the building object model some relationships can be described in a structured manner between components at ifc the IFC data schema has three fundamental entities, namely object, relations, and properties. However, the IFC data cannot be implemented directly into the graph database modeling. So, it is necessary to parse the EFC file into JSON format, since it is simple and easy to understand. The IFC metadata graph model is used to create and examine the relationship between IFC entities and validate the IFC model. And the final step is graph modeling was converting the IFC model into a IFC object graph. So like that. This is the uh, our model. And the use of graph database modeling helps the building preservation process. Graph database modeling creates more accurate information both in terms of the form and space of the building as well as the location of the building and other supporting data. The data knowledge can be passed on from generation to generation without worrying about losing them. Apart from being a conservation effort, this data can also be used as other reference material. And hopefully the use of graph, dat graph database will have a positive impact in effort to preserve building, especially Malay architecture. And this is our conclusion for our uh, research paper. And our future work, the future research opportunity is the validation of this graph database model so that the knowledge extracted is truly valid. And a query testing can also be done to obtain accurate knowledge from a graph database and last, make comparison of different IFC models so that the new knowledge insight can be obtained. So this is uh, our presentation about our research paper. Thank you for attention and this is uh, my contacts. This is my phone and email. Thank you.